Hi guys, my name is Faye and I just wanted to do a quick video review for Provillus. After I had a baby, my hair started falling out like crazy. It was falling out all right up in here. It was actually like coming out in clumps in the shower. It looked terrible. I had bald patches right here. I really couldn't wear my hair back. It just looked absolutely awful. My husband has thinning hair and he's been using Provillus. Um, it was working for him, but I wasn't really sure if it would work for me, but he did suggest I try it. So I got some and I started using it as well. And I have to say it's really worked. First it came back like little peach fuzz right up in here, but it's just come back thicker and thicker. And now you probably would never notice that I had thinning hair at all. So if you have thinning hair, if you're a man or a woman and you're really serious about getting a thick head of hair back, then definitely check it out. There's a link in the description and you can click that and go get your bottle as well. Thanks. Hair loss is experienced by a large portion of the population around the world. So if this is you, don't worry, you're not alone. You're actually part of the majority. Hi, I'm Melissa with WatchMojo.com and today we're speaking with Steve Gendron about hair loss issues and what we can do to fix them. Steve, what are some of the most common reasons why people are losing their hair today in North America? There's a number of factors that can contribute to it. There are lifestyle factors that can come into play, things like stress, different times in your life. Probably the most prevalent are hormonal or genetic factors that can cause pattern baldness in both men and women. And when you say hormonal and genetic, what exactly do you mean by that? One of the big causes of genetic or male pattern baldness um, is actually uh, a chemical called, called DHT, which is in your bloodstream. And essentially what it does is it flows to your hair follicles, making them thinner and thinner until the hair follicle actually dies. And do you see that hair loss is affecting everyone in the population, men and women? What are your thoughts on that? I think when we think of baldness, we definitely think of male pattern baldness in men, but thinning hair and hair loss in women is also quite common. Uh, and up to about 40% of hair loss sufferers are in fact women in North America. What options do people have to regain the growth of their hair? It really depends. You know, if you've already experienced full hair loss, then your options definitely are limited. But if you are like most Americans, most North Americans who are experiencing thinning hair, there definitely are some treatments out there. Products like Rogaine, which is taken, are applied to your scalp topically. There's also Propecia, which is one of the more common oral medications that are designed to discourage the production of DHT and encourage hair, uh, hair regrowth. One of the newer products on the market is Provillus, which is actually taken both topically and orally. One of the great things about that, sort of unlike Propecia, is you don't have the risk of adverse sexual side effects that can be caused from the interaction between the DHT and testosterone. Can you give us a little bit more information about Provillus? The first part is the topical application. So essentially it's a liquid that you would massage and this liquid contains minoxidil. What minoxidil does is help stimulate the capillary areas around your hair follicles, increasing the protein that actually gets to the hair itself. The second part of the process is a supplement that's actually taken orally. Now what this supplement contains are DHT blocking ingredients that will do the exact same thing. It'll allow the right proteins to flow to your hair follicles, allowing them to open up again and encouraging future hair regrowth. Steve, thanks for spending the time with us today to discuss hair loss.